Hi everyone, this is Ms. Reininger and today we are going to talk about forms. Now, forms are objects that take up space. So last week in art, we learned about shapes. And what shapes have in common is that they are all flat like this piece of paper. In contrast, forms take up space. So shapes are flat, forms take up space, okay? So in this column, I have some flat shapes. And in this column, I have forms. Now, I want to show you what makes them different. Now, a shape is just a line that goes around until it connects. So here we have a flat shape of a circle. Here, we are going to turn this into a sphere. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to shade it in so that it looks like a ball. So if you see a basketball or a baseball ball, that's a form called a sphere. Can you say sphere? Very good. Okay, so I shaded this in. Now it looks like it's popping out more than this flat shape. Okay, very good. Right here we have a triangle which has three sides. We learned about those last week. But if I give it space, so in this case, I give it an extra side, that becomes a form called a pyramid. Can you say pyramid? Very good. Also, with a triangle, I can make another form called a cone. Can you say cone? Very good. Just like a cone, you would eat ice cream in. So if I flip this around, it will look like an ice cream cone. I have a shape of a, a square right here. But if I give it sides, it becomes a form called a cube. Can you say cube? Very good. And finally, I have a rectangle here, which is a flat shape. But if I give it space, this now becomes a cylinder. Can you say cylinder? Very good. And so if you ever see like a soup can or a pop can, for example, those are cylinders as well. Now, there is a type of artist called a sculptor who makes a type of art called sculptures that are 3D forms, which means you can walk around them and see them from all sides. Maybe you've seen a sculpture before in real life. So I would like to introduce you to a famous sculpture called Little Dancer, age 14, by an artist by the name of Degas. Now, I'm going to show you a brief video so you can actually see the sculpture in real life in the actual art museum. So this is in the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. So I'd like to share my screen with you so that you can see this video. Now, did you notice how you could see the sculpture of the ballerina from all sides? And you could see how detailed it was. It looked very realistic, which means it looked a lot like Hello. real life. This is the one and oh, sorry, goodness. I apologize about that. Now, today we are actually going to create a sculpture ourselves. So we are going to use something that you probably have in your kitchen. And we are going to make a sculpture out of aluminum foil. So the only two materials we're going to need today 
our aluminum foil and scissors and we can make a sculpture of a person now i made one of a ballerina in the style of degas but you can make your sculpture do anything you want so you could make it a basketball player you could make it an astronaut you could make any kind of uh sculpture you would like as long as it's a person okay all right so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to share my screen with you okay now I have my aluminum foil right here. So if you need time to gather your materials, you can pause this video and do so and then unpause it when you're ready. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna pull out a little bit of foil oops, and I'm gonna cut it off so that I have a rectangle. So I'm gonna cut it off right about here. And your lines, your cut lines don't have to be perfectly straight. Okay, so I have a rectangle and I'll put this back and get this foil out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to flatten this out so you can see it better. Now I am going to make three cuts on one side. This is actually the bottom. It's upside down for me so that you can see it the right way. I am going to cut this and I'm just going to cut it up. I, I started halfway in the middle at the bottom. I'm just going to cut up a couple of inches, eh, a few inches, several inches. Okay, so now what this is going to become down here, these are going to be the two legs. So if you have them too short, like way down here, you're going to have really short legs. So you want to cut it right about here. And I would say I'm little, a little under the halfway mark of the overall uh, length of my aluminum foil here. Then at the top, I'm going to make two cuts, one about here and one about here. So I have segments that are about equal distance. And I'm not probably going to cut down as far as I did with the legs. Okay, so you can see I have a cut here, a cut here, and a cut down here. What these will be is, this is going to be this he the head, this part right here. These two will be the arms and these two will be the legs. So here's how I'm going to start creating my sculpture. On one side, I'm going to fold it over gently. And it doesn't matter how big or small your fold is. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start kind of scrunching and crimping with my fingers the legs. So I have, I'm going to start the top of the cut right here and I'm going to start crimping this part together. I know it doesn't look like a person yet. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to start to pinch, pretend you're a little lobster and you're pinching with your pinchers. Okay, there's two legs. I know it doesn't really look like legs yet, but it will. Okay, now I'm going to go to the top. This is going to be an arm and this is going to be an arm. So I'm going to crimp one of my arms together. Pinch it with my lobster pinchers. I'll even get the side of the body here, okay? So you can see I kind of have an arm right here. Then I'm going to crimp this side with my lobster pinchers. Okay. Now, this is going to be the head. So I kind of want to squish it up into a ball. I want a round head. And I'm gonna pinch it a little more just below the ball to be the neck. So you can see what I have so far. It's like he's like, ah! Oh. Okay, now to make the body, I'm gonna crimp this part right here. So I'm gonna crimp this part together. And now you can start to see this person coming together. Now I'm just gonna refine it a bit by crimping the legs a little bit more and the body a little bit more. 
It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to look just like mine. As long as it sort of looks like a person, that's what we're going for here. So I'm just refining these arms and legs and head and just crimping a bit more to form it and make it look more like a person. Now for the feet, I'm going to pinch them and push them forward. I'm kind of pushing them up like this, okay? Now it's probably not gonna be able to stand without help, but um, you can still see that there's feet, okay? Now he's like, yay! Okay, now the next part is think about what you want your person to be doing. So for my ballerina, I bent the arms up and made it look like she had her arms up like she's in a dance pose and I bent her knee right here. So think about what you want your person to be doing. So if I want them to play basketball, it's probably going to look different than if they're dancing, for example. Maybe I'm gonna make this one a runner. So I'm gonna think about what somebody might look like if they were running. So I'm gonna change my camera angle here so you can see a bit better. So maybe they could have their legs bent like this. This kind of reminds me of when somebody's about to do a cartwheel. Maybe they have this one bent as well if they're running. Maybe they've got their arms bent. Maybe this one could go back a little bit and then angle it at the elbow. So think about where your elbows and knees and things go and what that might look like if you were to move around in a certain way. And now I have my runner. So this is my foil sculpture. Now, if you wanted to, like I have a tutu on my ballerina here, you can cut off a small piece of foil and form it around your sculpture to make clothing. Or if I wanted to make a basketball player, I could put a little um, basketball in its hand and kind of wrap the hand around. That is totally up to you. As long as you have a human figure, you fulfilled the assignment. But if you wanna add anything extra, by all means, you are more than welcome to because you are the artist. So with that said, today we learned about forms. So forms take up space. They are not flat like shapes, which we learned about last week. There is a type of artist called a sculptor that makes sculptures and sculptures are a type of art that take up space as well. We looked at a work of art by Degas. So it was the little dancer aged 14 that looked like a ballerina. And then we created our foil sculptures. So I hope you have fun creating. I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.